my hack is ada plus for lens and first of all why why do this so basically to make things easier so let's say you are managing a kubernetes system and that's also using aws and in my experience i found i often like switch between lens and aws console back and forth and it's a bit annoying so i just had to try this extension and of course another reason is to expand lens from being kubernetes specific to being about cloud more in general how i did it i made aws extension to lens i used the aws sdk and also the new cutout api to add new stuff to lens so let's go and show the demo so basically you can see the cutout is open and you can see the new aws categories here for example i have the easy to instances and this cluster is or this aws account is actually the staging environment of the lens spaces so we can see all the dev clusters are running here and i added some main categories but it's super simple to add new categories if we want so there's so many in aws so i added some main ones so here you can see the databases and you can click on any cutout item and it will open the console if you want to do something in the, in the console and we should open the database directly so you can see the database was open already here and i have the s3 buckets here biggest clusters and also the repositories for images and also secrets from six manager so so everything here works like in lens so you can add to hot part for example this eks cluster and then you can click on it and it again open the console but of course you don't want to want to go to console all the time so then i started to work on some actions for example here we got the ec2 instances and i can search by using all the labels so I have a dev cluster running and I can search for that using my name. Uh, it's here. I can see status is stopped. Uh, by the way, this is updating in pretty much real, real time. So I have some basic actions here. Like I can start it. So you can click here. You got the notification. And then in a few seconds, the status will change to running. And I can also stop it from here if I want. But then I start to think there's so much functionality in the console. So how could I add add more to it? So then I got the idea I could use the common palette. So I open it up and then start typing AWS. So it will show me all the different services and then action for each service so what i did that i had pretty much every functionality from the sdk and i generated this super simple ui for each command so i guess that's for ec2 service and you show me each easy to action here that i can do like this one and then i can type in the parameters and click something so we can try it i will First of all, for this command, I need the ID, so I will open the details. I can see all the labels from the AWS, and I can copy the ID. And then I open the command palette, C2, and I want to stop it. So I want to stop instances command. And this one only requires the ID of the instance. Then I click submit, and we got the notification. And now it's stopping. So yeah, this is the pretty much what I got got in this hack. And yeah, the common palette UIs are a bit technical, so we can improve it by 
by making more noise and maybe taking some specific actions and make, make a nice UI for them. And so the presentation, so future work. Well, we got to add some more resource types. Okay, it's, it's simple to add more of them and maybe think of some kind of better UI where I can choose what categories I'm interested in, maybe in settings. You can improve the UI, these commands. You got more labels and properties for each resource because now they are it's only have the basic ones. And one cool thing that you could try is linking the AWS resources to the Kubernetes resources. So it would be nice if, if I can open here details of some node. Uh, I could see the list of pods or something, or maybe link links to the cluster running, or something like that. So it'd be easier to see if if some node is having problems, so I could then jump in the Kubernetes side. So yeah, that's my hack.